Is the bar and chain on your chainsaw running dry? You just might need a new oil pump. The oil pump pumps bar oil from the oil tank to the bar. The oil lubricates the bar and chain to prevent wear and heat. To check your oil pump, remove the bar and chain from your saw and start the engine. Oil should start to flow from the oiler location. Sawdusting chips can plug the oiler, so make sure the opening is clear. Also check the opening in the bar and make sure it isn't plugged. If the oiler is clear and no oil flows, the pump is likely bad. Replacing the oil pump is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the side cover, the chain, and the bar. Now I'll remove the retaining clip and the outer washer. I'll use a small screwdriver to carefully pry the retaining clip away from the crankshaft. I want to be careful not to lose the retaining clip as it comes loose. Now I can remove the clutch drum from the crankshaft. With the clutch drum removed, now I can remove the inner washer. Now we can remove the clutch. There are several methods you can use to remove the clutch. The one requiring the least amount of tools is to just use a pair of adjustable pliers. You can grab the clutch with the pliers and unscrew it. With this method though, you may end up damaging the clutch. So if you're simply removing it and then going to replace the same clutch, it may not be the best method. The better method is to use a clutch removal tool. This is specifically designed for removing clutches. There's a couple of pins that line up with tabs on the clutch. You place the tool over the shaft and then place a socket onto the tool and use a ratchet wrench to remove it. If you use either the ratchet wrench or the adjustable pliers, the problem you're going to have is when you go to rotate the clutch to remove it, it's just simply going to spin the engine over. So what you need to do is bind up piston so that the crankshaft can't turn. To do that, you remove the top cover, remove the spark plug, and then insert a short length of ropes, like starter rope, into the cylinder, and that'll bind the piston between the rope and the top of the cylinder. If you're using a clutch removal tool, another option you have is to use an impact wrench if you have one. With the impact wrench, the compression inside the cylinder will be great enough that you don't need to bind up the piston. Just simply the compression will keep the engine from turning over. And that's the method I'm going to use. The thread on most clutches is reverse thread. There will usually be a marking on the clutch that will tell you which direction to rotate it to either remove it or install it. In this case, it's telling us to remove it or to take it off. We want to rotate it this way, which is clockwise. So I'll place my clutch removal tool onto the clutch and then use my impact to remove it in a clockwise rotation. And now I can remove the large clutch washer. To remove the oil pump assembly, we'll need to remove the chain brake assembly. One of the screws on the chain brake is blocked by the handle, so the next step is to remove the handle. Now we can remove the chain brake assembly. You need to be careful when you remove this because there's a spring inside, and if that spring is under tension when you remove it, the spring can come out and hit you and potentially hurt you. When the saw is in the locked position, the spring actually has no tension on it. 
when it's unlocked, there is tension. So you want to make sure that the brake is locked and then you can go ahead and remove the cover. Now I can remove the oil pump assembly. It's held in place with two screws. I'll pry the oil feed tube from the oil tank and then work the pump out of the housing. Now I can install the new oil pump. I'll place it back into the housing, making sure that everything lines up, bring the oil tube around and install it back into the pickup on the tank. And now I'll secure it with the screws. Now I can reinstall the chain brake assembly. I'll line it up with the housings, and then you might need to just slightly move the brake lever to get the clutch to line up, just like that. And now I can secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the top handle. Now install the large clutch washer. Now install the clutch. Remember it is a reverse thread, so I'll screw it in place counterclockwise. And again I'll use my clutch removal tool, or in this case installation tool, and an impact. Now I can install the inner clutch drum washer. Now install the clutch drum. Now install the outer clutch washer and secure everything with the retaining ring. Now install the bar and chain and the side cover. I'll loosely tighten the bar nuts and tension the chain. That looks good, so now I'll go ahead and tighten down the bar nuts. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 